Hi, Weekend Crafter! Welcome or welcome back to the Craft Time Studio. I'm Ange and for today, I want to show you how I mix modern retro colors. If you haven't yet, I hope you do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. As I'm mixing colors, I want to make sure my workspace is extra clean and so I spray it with a little bit of alcohol and wipe it down. For the first color, I will use Fimo Soft Lemon Yellow, Sculpey Red Hot Red, and Sculpey Translucent Clay. As I cut into my Fimo Soft, you will see that it is in fact not soft at all. It is truthfully quite hard and crumbly. But as my personal advocacy is not to be wasteful, I have to find a way to make this malleable again. One way to do this is to mix my hard clay with translucent clay. My translucent clay is quite soft and so first, I roll it out to flatten it. Then, I chop my Fimo into smaller pieces. I could try to roll this out using my roller but it will take forever to condition. So to speed things along, I use my craft hammer to hasten the process. I put all the crumbs and the translucent clay into a plastic bag and then I whack it gently with my hammer. Some clay crafters say that it's also a great way to release some tension and I agree completely. I stop whacking it when I see that the crumbs are sticking to the translucent clay and then I pass it through the roller. Once the translucent clay is fully mixed, you will get a soft lemon color. As I've mentioned in my previous color mixing videos, mixing translucent doesn't really change the basic color, but it does soften it. I will leave a link above in case you want to check out this video. 
Next, I mix my yellow with a sliver of red hot red. Remember that when you're mixing a bold color, like red or black, make sure you add the colors very slowly. So, this color is almost amber orange. I divide this lab into three because I will use the same recipe to make the two other colors. For the next color, I use this orange color and add a sliver of black and a sliver of red. The color that you will get is very rusty orange, which I will call Tiger Lily. For the next color, I will add about one third part yellow, and I will call this Bright Squash. Next up, I'm using a generic clay, so I don't know its real color name, but it is like a pastel turquoise green. If you have Sculpey in Jade, I think that this would work, except you'd have to add a little bit of white to match the color that I'm using. 
I mix equal parts of this pastel turquoise green with translucent. Then, when the colors are fully incorporated, I add 1 8 part peacock blue. And there we have it. I call this color Refreshing Green. I'm setting aside a little bit of this green to use for my final color. I want to add something that will balance the colors out. I'm using Primo Olive and mixing it with Refreshing Green. I'm calling the resulting color Palm Green. I know that my roller recipe is a week early, but I wanted to do this first because my design for the next video is based on these colors. So watch out for that. I do hope that if you enjoyed this video, you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, do consider liking and subscribing to the Craft Time Studio. If you have any questions or suggestions, do comment down below. And if you want to check out what I'm doing over the week, please do visit my IG at crafttime.ph. Have a crafty weekend! Bye!